Hello and welcome to this review of New England, Old New England, sorry, Classic Eggnog, Old New England Classic Eggnog, freshly made, made with Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, rum, brandy, and blended whiskey, prepared and bottled by M.S. Walker Incorporated, Boston, Massachusetts, 15% alcohol, uh, This was introduced, I looked up the date, uh, it was like 1960. All right, uh, contains artificial colors in FD and C yellow number five, which has to be listed as a separate coloring because some people are allergic to it. 267th day of 2001. This delicious eggnog is prepared with farm fresh New England dairy, imported brandy, imported rum. The brandy is from France, the rum is from Jamaica, the bourbon base, and bourbon base blended whiskey. I see what that means. The blended whiskey has a bourbon base with the grain spirits added. All dairy ingredients have been homogenized. Shake well, serve chilled. So, I bought this at International Market for $7.99. This is from a company called M.S. Walker of Boston, Massachusetts. It's an old company. They have all types of tequila, brandy, rum, gin, blended whiskey, bourbon whiskey, uh, cordials, and a holiday products like this. Now, um, there's also a cinnamon version and a pumpkin version made with real pumpkin. All right, so here we go. Never had a New England eggnog before. I'll put some cinnamon in there. Although I do believe nutmeg is blended in already. Yeah, a new nutmeg is part of the blend according to their website. Yellowish white, cream colored cinnamon. All right. Should have checked it out before the cinnamon added additive, but I uh, didn't. Hmm. Smells like spices. Cheers. There are video reviews for this. The international Market in Metairie, Louisiana was the only place I saw it. And they also had the big jug bottles for, I think, $13.99. Which is your better value per ounce. Oh, yeah. Rich cream. You're not going to sit here and pick out, pick out, oh, there's the rum, there's the blended whiskey, there's the bourbon. Four-year-old Kentucky straight bourbon, they said. Made with, oh, sorry, three-year-old blended whiskey. But I believe the website said it's four-year-old Kentucky. Yeah. is on the sell sheet, four-year-old Kentucky straight bourbon. Very creamy, not so eggy, but more creamy. A little different than the Pennsylvania ones, which are more egg egg oriented. They're both very good. Velvety body, semi sweet finish. Pour a little bit more without the cinnamon. This company, uh, they were showing photos of their bottling facilities in Massachusetts. Many generations still family owned. It goes back to the mid 1800s. Um, they don't actually own distilleries or dairy farms. Um, well, I think maybe they were saying part of the family has cows, or but they um, they are mainly wine. Bro they have a lot of wine too. Wine brokers and liquor brokers. They they have contracts with different distillers around the world. A lot of blended scotch companies like Grand McNish. Lots of tequila. Okay, here we go without the uh, additive, the added cinnamon.
Mm. The main thing I'm tasting, and I could be wrong, is the blended whiskey. But it's so, it's so difficult, you can't really tell. Would I give this a high rating? Oh yes, definitely. So, um, it's a little different. It's hard to say exactly how, but it is, like, I think it's more creamy. But um, if you see this, and I don't know if you will, but if you do, uh, their, their main distribution area, as they said on the website, was the New England states. But here it is in Louisiana on the shelf. So, uh <clears throat> Definitely, definitely check it out. $7.99 a bottle is a great deal and even better with the big handle bottle. So uh, I'll score this an A. This is another A. Um, I've liked all the ones I've tried so far and I've tried so many now going on 10 I think. So um, yeah, don't hesitate. Yeah, it's getting to the point where um, very milky, yeah. That I've exhausted the eggnogs brands unless some new ones show up, so we have to get into more bourbon creams and Irish creams. So those are similar in a way, they're more coffee oriented. So Lazy Lay Bon Ton Relay, I'm gonna go with 9.4 out of 10, a 94 out of 100, a most excellent product. And, and I'm gonna end this review by saying y'all go to Boston, Massachusetts and tour the MS Walker production facility.